bring in Oliver Slope to cheer us up. He's with Blue Line Futures out of Chicago. Oliver, thanks for being on this afternoon. Uh, you got any thoughts, any mind-shattering ideas? Well, cheer, cheering me up is a, is a, is a tough task in, in this <laughs> environment. It's been kind of a risk-off morning. Some of these outside markets have been playing a, a big role in money flow and commodities as a whole, as the whole world kind of braces uh, for a, a recession. And we're seeing a lot of that uh, kind of move things around quite a bit. Oil was sharply lower this morning. We're about five bucks off the low in oil. So you're starting to see some of these outside markets gain some footing. Hopefully that can translate into some footing in the commodity space as well. I think the important takeaway for me at least uh, this morning was the fact that corn was holding well when everything else was risk off. And I think the concerns over hot and dry weather throughout the Midwest are going to continue to offer this market support. So long as we can defend last week's lows near uh, 580, a break and close below there, there may be another 30 cents of up, uh, downside. But from a risk reward perspective, I think that there's upside potential here to get back towards that 200 day moving average, which comes in a little bit closer towards uh, 650. Yeah, you know, you're right. It's really difficult to trade these things when you're fighting with what you definitely know, or at least it looks as though it's hot and dry from our weather here. Um, that's uh, kind of giving you a tug one way, but the other side, you've got recession and inflation fears really slowing everything down on the other. So that's been a really big tug of war as of late. Do you think we've gotten rid of a lot of the week longs, though, and maybe we're getting this back to some semblance of normalcy back in this commodity market? Absolutely. We've gotten rid of uh, a lot of week longs and week shorts. Remember, we had that big rally at the end of last week that squeezed out a lot of shorts that were maybe late to the party, didn't catch the, the move lower. So you're, you're basically just chopping people to pieces on both sides of the market. Yeah. We're starting to find a little bit more of an equilibrium here where I think the market can kind of reset. And I think that reset could potentially lead to some more upward mobility, especially with the way that the forecasts are looking for the Midwest right now. I agree.